mirrors, windows, doors, stone siding, decks, and painting. We also utilize new age technology like drones and 3D modeling. The drones keep our guys safe on the ground with an aerial perspective, and the 3D modeling gives us exact measurements for precise job scope. Give us a call today, we'll be happy to provide you with a complimentary drone inspection. We look forward to keeping your home and your family safe. Open Road Mazda of Morristown is your go-to for reliable and affordable vehicles. We offer a wide range of options to match your style and needs. First-time buyers, discover the joy of buying with confidence with our five-day money-back guarantee. Your journey begins here at Open Road Mazda of Morristown. I enjoy helping nonprofits achieve their goals and really accomplish their mission, namely by nurturing my relationship with them, their staff, their donors, their volunteers, and their board members. I think the key to being trusted is really transparency. What I've seen time and time again is that when you give anything the right conditions, the support, the autonomy, trust, your full attention, it will thrive. This is as true for my clients and for my colleagues as it is for myself here at Bliss. Athletic Fields of America in Montville, New Jersey has become an industry leader in synthetic turf. Serving the greater New York, New Jersey, and Eastern PA regions, we have delivered hundreds of both synthetic turf and natural grass sports fields for youth and recreational levels all the way up to the highest standards and requirements of the NCAA. Our goal with every project is to provide our customers with exceptional workmanship, extraordinary service, and professional integrity while constructing a superior product that you can enjoy for years to come. Visit athleticfieldsofamerica.com. If you live in Andover, Blairstown, Byram, Frankfurt, Franklin, Frieden, Freelingheisen, Green, Hampton, Hardwick, Hope, Knowlton, Lafayette, Newton, Sparta, Stillwater, Sussex, and Wantage, Planet Networks is building high-speed fiber in your neighborhood. Visit GetPlanetFiber.com today to learn more. At Planet Networks, our high-speed fiber is designed to be fast. Up to 300 times faster than cable and up to 500 times faster than DSL. As fast as 10,000 megabits per second up and down if you speak nerd. We're talking cheetah, bullet train, lightning strike, hummingbird, race car kind of fast. Planet Networks. So fast, it's worth the wait. superior in almost every aspect. We work with contractors for almost everything in the firehouse and Blue Nail really made us feel comfortable all the way through from the contract to pre-planning to scheduling getting the job done. We are thrilled that they were able to do the job for us. I'm Dan from George J. Keller & Sons. My family-owned company has provided superior service to local homeowners since 1980. And based on the strength of our commitment to you and your positive reviews and feedback, we are now a GAF three-star President's Club winner. That's right, one of 30 winners out of 2,600 Master Elite dealers nationwide. Our seasoned pros provide the best service and quality products from beginning to end of your project. Give us a call today for your free estimate. We specialize in roofing and siding. That includes gutters, windows, doors, stone siding, decks, and painting. We also utilize new age technology like drones and 3D modeling. The drones keep our guys safe on the ground with an aerial perspective, and the 3D modeling gives us exact measurements for precise job scope. Give us a call today. We'll be happy to provide you with a complimentary drone inspection. We look forward to keeping your home and your family safe.
This game is brought to you by Aaron Mizzarelli of State Farm in Randolph. My licensed and experienced team members are here to serve you for all of your insurance and financial service needs in New Jersey and New York. We offer excellent customer service and our office is conveniently located in Randolph, New Jersey. For a free auto, home, life, or business quote, visit us at AaronMizzarelli.com or call us at 973-389-9999. Third down to give. Montella cuts back up the middle, and he's over a oh. thousand yards, and he's off to the races. Up in the air, blocked down. Don't be here, wide open net. Too easy right there. Molly Chapman, she'll take off from the wing. That one's good. Webb trying to get the pin. Here we go. And it goes. The pin is blocked. That would win it for Warren Hill. Great senior night ceremony here at Lenby Valley High School. A 63 save performance by Casey Connor, the Crimson. And he break his record. And the Edwards wins it. First game of your conference schedule. So good, and we're all so pumped and just happy to look Head up the head tonight on more Sussex. And welcome to a blustery Anthony Mazzarino Stadium here at the campus of Vernon Township High School as Big State Sports presents High School Boys Lacrosse. And this is always a good battle between two geographical rivals, not in the same division, as the host Vernon Vikings, who come in a record 1-2, and 0-1 in the Riz Division under their head coach Adam Coleman's in his sixth year after replacing the great Harry Shoreway. Take on the West Milford Highlanders, who come in a record of 2-2, two and two, one and on the Curcio division under their veteran coach Gary Stoll in his 10th season. And there's a lot of ties here tonight. Gary and his assistant coach Steve Maslanik, both were terrific athletes here at Vernon back in the day. And uh, Gary part of that Harry Shortway coaching tree. So it should be a good one tonight. I'm Dan Cleary. Thanks for joining us. And even though it's a little windy, our temperature here at Vernon High School is 53 degrees. We'll sign up for that. If you've ever been to Vernon early in April, you'll sign up for 53 degrees. And that's brought to you by ICS. They are keeping you warm when you're cold, cold when you're warm. It's our friends at ICS. Go to ICSHVAC.com for more information. We want to thank them. As you see the captains out there talking to the officials. Leroy Featherman, one of the officials out there, a good buddy of mine, great official. As we also want to thank Open Road Mazda of Morristown. They're going to be the sponsor of our opening draw, our opening face-off. Open Road Mazda of Morristown has your back. Discover affordable, dependable vehicles for less than $15,000. Backed by a rock-solid five-day money-back guarantee. Drive with confidence. Drive with Open Road Mazda of Morristown. You can check out their link down below and also just want a couple a couple of other thank yous uh joining our we're going to be doing a bunch of vernon uh game softball we'll be doing another lacrosse game we want to thank mountain creek they'll be joining us so we want to thank them uh, a lot of kids in the area work there and they want to give back and be a sponsor so they'll be joining us at our next broadcast for real but wanted to thank them tonight and the gang over to glenwood i know the masters is still on but if you got the game on there, hopefully you enjoy it. Scott and Sinead are very supportive of all Vernon sports and everything Vernon. So the gang at the Glenwood, enjoy the game tonight here on Big State Sports Network. Again, I'm Dan Cleary. Thanks for joining us. These two teams, as we said, are geographic rivals. Uh, th these guys have so many ties in between. A lot of the kids play true lacrosse for Bobby Sedlock, who is uh, coaching now at Kane as an assistant coach with the women's team. He also is a director at True. So there's a lot of ties. These kids know each other. So we'll talk about West Milford. The last two times they've played, they've been pretty good games. Last year was a great one for Vernon, a 7-6 win. The year prior, 2022, when West Milford won the Passaic County Championship for the first time, they beat Vernon 12-5 on a rainy, I believe it was a Saturday. It was a miserable day, but they played great that day. So it's always a good battle. We'll give you the starting uh, lineup uh, for West Milford on the attack, Vincent D'Andrea, he's number one. He's got eight goals and three assists. Also on the attack, Nick Lombardo, number 48, he's got two goals. And Logan Ancafrio, he's number nine. He's got two goals and one assist. Uh, taking the faceoffs will be Jake Kelsaw, number four. He's going to be a mid. He's got five goals, seven assists. He's 37 for 57 on the faceoffs. Another mid will be Ryan Chiscuga, number 13. His sister is on the girls' team, coached by Harry Shortway. Also, a uh, midi for this team, Brett Provenzano, number 18. He has three goals. And Nash Appel, he's a captain and a midi. He's got five goals, five assists. Your long stick midis will be St 
Stephen Delagicoma, he's number 41. And you'll also see Braden Traylor with the long six. And then your poles will be Matt White, Matt Watt, excuse me, number 16. Also playing pole, John Beagle. He's their main guy, big part of this program for the last few years. He was a big part of that championship team in 2022. He's a, long, he's a defensive pole and a captain. And Spencer Rabitsky, the big guy. Terrific football season and wrestling season for him as he is number 26. As we said, they're in the Curcio division. <clears throat> they lost to Pascal Valley 16-5, beat Kittatinny 7-3, lost to a very good tennis flight team 14-4, and are coming off an 11-4 win over Wayne Hills. Uh, D'Andrea had five goals, two assists. Kelshaw had two goals, three assists. Lombardo had two goals. And Tyler Ancrofrio had 13 saves in that win. So they're looking to put back-to-back -back wins together. Coach Stoll said, you know, they lost some great players from last year, you know, led by and Theo Bolger was a terrific player last year. They went 6-15, and 1-8 and eight in the Jacobson. So they're back in the Curcio, which they won uh, back in 2018. So they're, they're in the right division right now with where they're at. Uh, but last year, they lost 7-1 in the Passaic County Final. Got there, even though it was a losing record. But, and lost to West Essex and States. As we said, Theo Bolger was a key big, big player on that team. As they have a lot of kids back from that last year's squad. All right, Vernon. 1-2, only won the risk. Adam Coleman in his sixth season. They uh, lost the Parsippany Regional 16-3 on opening day. Bounced back to beat Morristown Beard 11-6. And then uh, lost to a tough Sparta team 7-2. So the, the common theme between these two teams this year is scoring. They're going to have to find a way to find the back of the net. Uh, Vernon with 16 goals this year. West Milford with 20 and one extra game. So it could be a defensive battle, or will the offensive floodgates open for both of these teams? As we said, Vernon won last year 7-6. Kane Lynch had a big game, one goal, but he had four assists. Aiden Duffy had two goals, and D'Andrea had two goals for West Milford. So the starting lineup for the Vikings, Kane Lynch, he does a lot of his good work behind at the X behind the goal. He's got two goals, two assists. Ketchel Terzakis, you'll see him all over the field. He might take some face-offs. He'll be a short stick midi. He'll be on the attack. Uh, it's just, uh, he's all over, does a great job, three goals, one assist. And Ty Holden, the man with the rocket, he's going to Western Connecticut, he's got six goals, two assists, and if he's on target, watch out. Offensive mid, he's Ethan Lewis, he's got three goals, he's number 11. Matt and Lewis, his brother, number 28, he's a speedster, just a sophomore. And then Dean Grundy, another talented sophomore, number six, as an offensive mid. Your uh, face-off guys have been Joe Campoli and Brandon Curley. And this will be Curley. He's 10 of 18, the sophomore. He's number four. And your short stick defensive mini, Joe Campoli, 7, 21, Damon Greenwood, who started the year and last year splitting goal time with Luca Vizzini. He's back out on the field to get another good athlete out there. And we're underway here at Vernon, who's going to scoop up the ground ball to start this one up. And we'll give you Vernon's long poles. Owen Lally, number five. He was in LSM last year. He's going to be the anchor. Number 45, Big Will Wozlowski. He does a great job. And Ethan Maldonado getting a start tonight, number 13. And the long stick middies, number 18, Tristan Elder. And number 35, Gavin Pitch. And if you're following Vernon Sports, you're saying, where's Logan Pitch? Logan's got a leg injury. Hopefully they'll get him back soon. But uh, Logan coming off that monster football season, 2,000 yards rushing, helping Vernon win its first league title back since 2000. I think Gary Stoll might have been on that team for the great Chuck Tepper. So that's a tough loss not having Logan Pitch out there tonight as he is on the sidelines, number 34. So we'll see if they'll come up and try to step it up without Logan out there. So West Milford will have it as we are underway here at Vernon High School. I want to thank the great athletic director, Bill Foley, for all his hospitality as he does a drive-by through the press box. That was my obligatory thank you to Mr. Foley. One of the best around. I think we're getting everything straightened out here. And it will be a man up situation. One, two, three, four. Nope, or even strength. All right, so West Milford will go to work. As I said, both of these teams have struggled to score this year. So whoever gets out early will have a big advantage. Shot and a save, Luca Vizzini. Luca last year split time with Damon Greenwood. Last year, Vernon went eight and nine. They were in every game. You know, when you see a, a team that's around 500, that's exactly what Vernon was. 
They were in games. They had a huge win over Sparta in the uh, HWS tournament. Ty Holden had a monster game with four goals. That's turnover. West Milford get it back. But they lost uh, Pope John in the next round of HWS and lost in the state tournament to Riverdale 9-6. And they graduated some good, real good players. Gage Moskovitz, Danny Janker, Janky, Austin Reed, Aiden Duffy, Connor Sensback, key seniors from last year's team. But a lot of these guys out there wearing white for Vernon have a lot of experience playing as juniors and some as sophomores. There's a shot to start things off, and Luca Vizzini sees it perfectly. Luca, a terrific athlete. He had a great football season, defensive back, kicker, and uh, gives him a lot of athletic ability. Here, a little unsettled, and good defense there by West Milford. And no, no surprise at Johnny Beagle. See if he's going to match up with Ty Holden, number 14. Bitsky 26, got that big body, terrific wrestlers, got good feet. Shot and a goal, and Vernon will score first. Off balance and taking the shot and scoring is number three, Ketchel Terzakis. We'll take another look at that. We talked about Terzakis gonna be all over the field. He comes around the corner, takes a shot. And just double checking that is number three. Yes, indeed, Ketchel Terzakis with the goal. That'll give him four goals on the season. Vernon takes a 1-0 lead at the 9.37 mark of the first quarter. And that goal brought to you by Open Road Mazda of Morristown. And um, the face-off win, nice clean win there for Jake Kelshaw. He takes a shot saved by Vizzini. And he'll rake it back into the crease area. You can, I don't know if you can see you now. The flags are whipping here at Vernon. But it's always windy up here. But it's a little bit extra windy today. Again, these two teams played here two years ago in a monsoon. Did not slow down West Milford that day. That was a, a huge win for them. Helped them give, get confidence as they rolled to the Passaic County Championship. Their first one as they beat their arch enemies from Wayne Hills 4-3. Dylan Connors on that team. Aiden Bolger, Theo Bolger, Sam Pedronazzi, Ashton Stymax, and Ralph Torrey and goal had a monster game. All right, Vernon with a one nothing lead and the ball. This is Madden Lewis. Madden and Ethan's older brother, Brandon Lewis, was a terrific player for Harry Shortway. They called him B. Lou. This is Holden. If he gets his hands free, he's got a quick release and a rocket. Back out to Madden Lewis. Over to Ethan Lewis. Puts on the brake, swings it back. Off the pick, good slide defensively by West Milford. Nash upheld. Terzakis, he has the goal. Drifts down the alley. See if he slides towards X. Puts on the move, works towards the cage, save. Good save made there by the goalie, Tyler Ancafrio. Just a sophomore, he came in last year as a freshman, replacing Ralph Turry. Big shoes to fill, figuratively and literally. And he did a nice job. Trying to clear, here comes the ride. Coach Adam Coleman said he wanted to pressure West Milford with the ride to try to create more offensive opportunities for the Vikings, but a good job there. Logan Ancafrio, shot, saved by Vizzini. Comes back out. West Milford with it. Jake Kelshaw. Each team being very patient during its sets. DeAndrea thought about it. He's got a huge future in front of him, that young man. I'm sure he's a freshman. Terrific season. Islanders being patient, hands free, shot. That'll go wide, we'll stay here. Luca might have got a piece of that. 
You can see what we were talking about with that rocket. But possession will stay with the Highlanders. D'Andrea up top. Campoli watching him as Wozlowski. Will all about six foot five, big tall guy, put that pole in his hand. It's like a seven footer in basketball, protecting the rim. Sidearm doesn't get through. Off the rebound, who's going to get the ground ball? Be a big ground ball win, and Owen Lally's going to come out with it. And good pressure by DeAndre, but Lally able to hold him off. Owen now playing anchor on the defense. Last year was an LSM. And we get a timeout called? Nope. I thought Vernon was trying to call a timeout. Ball still loose, but the Vikings have it. Holden dumps it off. Unsettled. Low shot save. Kane Lynch with a little tricky shot. Vernon tried to score in the unsettled with just over five minutes to go. And that'd be a clean check by the Vikings. Good work there. That was Tristan Elder. Although we, they get a timeout. West Milford did get the timeout before he was knocked out of bounds. Good job by Coach Stoll and his staff, Steve Maslanik and Coach Bolger. We're going to take a break, folks. We'll be back right after this here on the Big State Sports Network. Go ahead. Take a deep breath. Oh, nice, huh? That's some clean, fresh air at the perfect temperature. That is good. Who installed the system? ICS. They're the leaders in HVAC. They make the duct work at their own factory, so we even save some money. That's impressive. You recommend them? It's ICS for HVAC. I see why. Ah. Hey, Lorraine, go get a big plastic bag. Take some air home with you. WIS gives me the freedom to be entrepreneurial, innovative. I feel supported to bring 100% of myself and my personality to work each and every day. I'm the CEO of WIS Family Office. I have two amazing children. I'm the daughter of French and Italian immigrants. Above all, I'm someone who derives strength and confidence from my ability to connect with others, and I strive to make a difference in their lives. All right, we're back here at Vernon High School, Nasserino Stadium. Start off as a miserable day, but the sun is out. We'll have the sun for at least a, the first half, I would imagine, with the 6.30 start here at Vernon. Thanks for joining us. I'm Dan Cleary, live on the Big State Sports Network. Get everyone squared away here. 5.13 to go, and Madden Lewis, so it was a Vernon timeout. Madden Lewis will take it. He's a speedster. You can see him turn on the Jets there. And Vernon with the one nothing lead. Ketchel to Zach's goal, his fourth of the year. To Zach is with Rubisky all over and the big man. Trying to feed the crease. Shot and a goal for the Vikings. We'll take a look at that. I think that was Dean Grundy, number six. Tough to see with the sun coming through there. And indeed, it is Grundy. Talented sophomore in lacrosse and football gets the goal. And Vernon is up 2-0. But nicely set up by Terzak as he has a goal and an assist now for the Vikings. West Milford's done a nice job on the face-offs. They've been able to get the possession. DeAndrew sends it back to X. They work it back to him. He loads up off the pipe, it looked like, and that's going to roll. Let's see who gets to it. And we'll stay here with the Highlanders. They trail 2-0 with 4.20 and running to go here in the first period. Back in, I think, about 2015 or 16, around that area, Vernon was in the Curcio division. They shared it with Lakeland. And then due to some politicking, not from Vernon, they were 
taken out of the division and moved into the risk. But they like being in the Curcio. Travel wasn't bad. You had West Milford, Lakeland, Paquanic, Wayne Valley, Wayne Hills, and DePaul. Not a bad ride. In fact, they shared the Curcio with West Milford, excuse me, with Lakeland that year. That was in 2017. That was when they had that great run to beat Riverdale, Jefferson, the States, and in the Group 2 semifinals, they lost to Chatham. The great Mac Bradle went on to play at Tufts. Had a big day. That team. Pat Graham, Kevin Parisi was terrific. Jeff Sedlock, the big guy, went from defense, played the attack, and had a monster year. Brian Moran, Chris Ast, Dylan Scheidel, Brandon Lewis was on that team. Cole Jennigan was a sniper. Mikey Alvarez in goal. Was the deepest Vernon's ever gone in the States. They would have won that game. They would have got to the finals. Nice stick dodge. Shot and a goal. Beautifully done. And West Milford gets its first goal of the game. It's Jake Kelshaw. We'll take a look at that. Beautiful stick job by stick dodge by Kelshaw. And he deposit upper corner for the goal. The 306 mark of the first quarter. That would give Kelshaw Kelshaw, excuse me, six goals on the season. And it'd be Curly and Kelshaw taking the face off. Pair of fours. Battle for the ground ball. Can West Milford get there? Still no possession. And could be scooped up. Nope. Pops out of the stick for the Vikings. Then they finally pick it up. See if Vernon tries to do something unsettled or wait to get their personnel on. Kane Lynch will get to it. Good work by Gavin Pitch to scoop up that ground ball. And Vernon will wait with 229 and running. Holding hands-free rocket and a nice save by Anka Frio. You don't want to let him open at that distance too much. More times than not, that's going in the back of the net. Rabitsky looking to clear. He does. He gets it out. To Nash Appel. Vernon will try to force the turnover. Ball loose. Is that over and back? Won't matter. Vernon gets to it. Good work there by the Vikings by Dean Grundy. He dumps it off to Kane Lynch. Well, he said he is the catalyst, the quarterback back at X. Okay, excellent vision. Here he comes around. Dumps it back up top. Matt and Lewis will get to it. 135 to go here in the first quarter. Shot by Holden, and that is a goal for the Vikings. Ty Holden, again, we just said, you don't want to leave him alone. Gets his hands free, and Vernon goes up 3-1 with 133 to go here in the first quarter. And that will give Ty Holden... Hey, let's see what I give Ty seven goals on the season as we take a look at that. Again, got to get a body on him. The thing for West Milford, although they trail 3-1, they've been dominant at the face-off X, and they're going to win another one. So that will keep them in the game no matter how many... Goal lead Vernon has. If they continue to dominate, they're going to be right back in it. But they can't make turnovers like that. Unfortunate there for the Highlanders. Or actually, no, actually it was off Vernon. My bad, folks. DeAndre sends it back. Back up top. Cole Riley. Shot. Who was there first? It will be West Milford on the backup. Nick Lombardo. Lombardo at X. DeAndrea. Back up top. Kelshaw. He has the goal today for the Highlanders. 
Back at X, Logan Ankerfield. Vernon's sitting back in that zone. Damon Greenwood and Tristan Elder up top of that zone. Twenty three seconds to go in the quarter. Obviously West Milford gonna hold for one here. Unless they have a wide open shot and they get it, and that is a rocket off the bounce for DeAndrea. And it's three two with fifteen seconds to go here in the first quarter. That'll give Vincent nine goals on the season. And it's three to two with fifteen seconds to go. Watch him use the bounce here. Left alone goes low. Pops it into the goal. Now you have 15 seconds, a ton of time when you win most of your face-offs. We'll see if Kelshaw can win it clean and go. Or will Vernon get a win? But 15 seconds, plenty of time if you win a clean face-off to get something going. And 10 seconds. They're going to have to hustle. They get it back. Goes through. And that's going to wrap up this first quarter. And the horn will sound. So one quarter in the books here at Anthony Massarino Stadium here at the campus of Vernon Township High School. Our score is Vernon Vikings 3, the West Milford Highlanders 2. We'll be back with second quarter action here live on the Big State Sports Network right after this. For all of the perks that come with working here, I would say that the most valuable thing WIS offers is freedom. The freedom to make the most of your role, to really go beyond the job description, the freedom to think differently and be rewarded for it, and the freedom to show up as 100% who you are. For years, it had been the same routine, working all night. Ah, <laughs> those beautiful faces. I wanted more, for me, for them, for our futures. There was this day that something changed, a simple moment of dress up. It opened my eyes. Take charge of your future and go big at CCM. And we're back here to start of the second quarter at Vernon Township High School. I'm Dan Cleary. Thanks for joining us on the Big State Sports Network. We want to thank the Vernon Boys Lacrosse team, Coach Adam Coleman, and the West Milford Boys Lacrosse team, Coach Gary Stoll, for sponsoring the game. We really appreciate it. And this face-off is brought to you by our friends at Open Road Mazda. Check out their great selection of vehicles for under $15,000. They got your back at Open Road Mazda. And a big shout-out to the gang at the Glenwood. Hopefully everyone's watching the game. 6.30 start on a Friday. Hopefully we have a nice crowd over there for Scott and Sinead. They're big supporters of everything Vernon. And another sponsor, not officially on this one, but coming soon to Vernon Games will be Mountain Creek. Season about to start with the bike park will be opening soon and then the water park. And they'll have job fairs, so check everything out over at Mountain Creek. All right, underway second quarter, West Milford. Opportunity here, bouncing the ball around, shot and a goal right out of the gate. And it's DeAndrea, the sniper with the shot. We're tied at three. And comes off a little bit of an unsettled situation. As you can see the ball bouncing around, good ball movement here. And a little sidearm shot. And his second goal of the season, 10th of the year. And we are tied at three early here in the second quarter. Nicely done by the Highlanders. Again, we said you keep winning those face-offs, you're going to get those opportunities. Kelshaw has been dominant. Absolutely dominant at X. It's been huge for West Milford. 
They'll bring it down. Nash Appel. Coach Stoll will get his offensive personnel on the field. Cole Riley, offensive midi, will come out there. He'll get the ball, number 22. He's going to take the shot. Saved by Vizzini. Luca, part of that Vizzini family of tremendous athletes. Sister Liv was an outstanding softball player, played in college. Lexi Vizzini, tremendous lacrosse player. She was playing in college. Dad was a soccer player here at Vernon. But Luca, just a great athlete. And him developing into that kind of, into that kind of goalie that he is, that has allowed Coach Coleman to put Damon Greenwood in the field. And Damon coming off a great football season playing center. As we said, they split time in goal, but Damon's a good athlete. He's a good defender. And that gives them an extra defensive short stick midi. This is Madden Lewis. Short stick on him. He dumps it off. Kitchell Terzakis. He scored the first goal. He's back at X. This is Ty Holden. Tries to get it through. Kane Lynch is going to get there. He'll scoop up the ground ball for the Vikings. Ethan Lewis gives it up to Kane Lynch. And he was our player of the game last year when these two teams met with the four assists and the goal. Having a hand in five of the seven goals the Vikings scored. He feeds it up top. Ethan Lewis with the rip. It comes all the way back. Wow. A lot of carom on that. West Milford will scoop up the ground ball. And now Vernon will get the win. That's Owen Lally coming out with it. Owen knows what to do, even though he's got the long play. He was an LSM for many years. And he takes a shot, coming up a little bit hobbled, but he is a tough kid. I doubt he'll come off the field. Four-year starter in soccer here at Vernon. Three as a goalie. Nice move there by Holden. Save, and the ball comes out loose. Well, he played goal for three years for Joe Jones and then was a field player this year. So there's a whistle, and that's going to be against the Highlanders. So Vernon will get it back with 9-12 to go here in the first half. We're tied at three. Kane Lynch will go to work. Tzakis in the back. Waiting for the screen from Lynch. Kishel Tzakis comes around the corner, takes a shot, goes wide. Ketchell's brother Terry playing for Steve Manita, our buddy over there at Sussex County Community College. And if you haven't checked out Unsettled Situations, our show on the Big State Sports Network. With Steve Benita and Sal, it's a great watch. If you are a lacrosse fan, you should definitely be checking that out on the Big State Sports Network. It's a great show. Shot on the bounce by Lewis. Lynch is there. Lynch waiting up top. For getting into their settled attack. Lynch with the stick dodge. Dumps it off. Good defense there by Wes Milford. He didn't dump it off. That was stripped by him. And on the run is Nash Appel. We're going to have our first flag. And it will be on the Vikings. So a delayed penalty. So Wes Milford will have it with 8 13 and running. That was the one thing Adam Coleman was telling me before the game. He wanted to cut down on penalties. Way too many penalties. So to get their first one. A quarter into the, in the second quarter, not terrible. And that should stop the clock. Bozowski scoops it up. So a man-up situation for West Milford. Slash one minute. Who's going off? It will be, I believe it was Mount Madden Lewis. So a man up here. For the Vikings. They're going to have to put some time back on the clock, I believe. Let's see. They stop it with 7.30 to go. But this will be a man up for West Milford.
They're going to want 738 on the clock. Can you put 738 on the clock? Yep, they're going to put eight seconds on the clock, 738. And we get the clock fixed, 738. A huge assist to Kyler Hackey, our producer, not only producing today's game, but getting the clock straightened out. He's a talented man. George Muha, I think we have to give this man a raise. So he just worked the clock. All right, so it's a man up for the Highlanders. See if they can take advantage and take the lead shot, and they do right away. It's Kelshaw. A man up goal, and Westmuffer goes up 4-3. Watch this again as Kelshaw with the man up goal. With the rip, and he scores. So Jake Kelshaw now with seven goals on the season, two today. And not only he has two goals, he's been dominant at the faceoff X. And Vernon will get it on the violation. Kelsho was looking for an explanation, and they started playing again. So a much-needed possession for the Vikings as they were up 3-1, and West Milford has roared back to take a 4-3 lead. Holden trying to get free. Bodied up there by John Beagle. That's a good matchup. Vernon's top offensive player against arguably West Milford's top long pole. Drzakis on the backup. With a little spin. Takes the shot. Save comes out. Trying to get to the loose change. This would be a big win, whoever gets it. Still battling. West Milford will come out with it. I think that was Beagle again. So they start to transition. But Matt Lewis comes back. Read the fence. Can Vernon get a turnover as he puts the pressure on? Nash Appel. And West Milford, great job by the Highlanders. They get it back. Vernon trying to set up their ride. A little unsettled here for West Milford. And West Milford will go to work as we approach the midway point of the second quarter. They have a 4-3 lead. Gary Stoll's done a great job with this program. He's been named coach of the year a couple of times. He's gotten the team to the county final three times, 1-1 in 2022. Had some great players over the years. We talked about Dylan Connors, Casey Fagan. He's at Transylvania still. Ray Gorney. I think that's his brother, Max. We're related to him on the team this year. Ray was a terrific player in 2019 when they won the Curse Division. He's done a great job with this program. Also, Steve Meslanik's one of his coordinators. Meslanik does a great job with the football program at West Milford. So he said both of them former Vern star football players for Chuck Tepper, our buddy. DeAndrea. Back up top. Kelshaw hands free. Shot saved by Vizzini. That comes all the way back out. That might have caught the post and Vizzini. And Vern's going to have to get a little bit closer to both number one and number four in black. Nate Demas is in, number two. Kelshaw thought it. There's a good slide, close out. DeAndre shakes free. Rocket, good defense there by, I think that was Gavin Pitch, got a stick on that. 
We'll stay here at the Highlanders with the 4-3 lead. DeAndre back up top, Kilshaw. Little two-man game with these guys. Both of them with the two goals each for the four for the Highlanders. DeAndre swings it back over. Scoots through. Can be a scrum by the midfield strike. Make sure no one's off sides. And great job by Kelshaw to get back to it. Byrne will drop back into its D. And Kelshaw will go to work. Another possession for the Highlanders. So we approach four minutes to go. Again, want to thank the West Milford boys lacrosse team and the Vernon boys lacrosse team for being our major sponsors tonight, which they've done the last three years. It's always a great get-together because everyone knows each other. It's a fierce rivalry, and it's an intense rivalry, but it's not one of those nasty rivalries. Again, they're so close geographically. I mean, as the crows flies from Vernon High School to West Milford, it's not far, but because of the reservoir area in between, it takes a while to get there. D'Andrew, good save there with the catch. 3.25 to go. There's a long possession here for West Milford. Making Vernon slide. Again, they've been terrific from the perimeter tonight, West Milford. Although Vizzini's made a couple of great saves. They keep this a 4-3 game. Oh, feeding the crease a good defense. That was the short stick, Nate Damis. Number two doing a good job there. But again, West Milford just dominating time of possession. Kelshaw winds up, goes wide. And again, West Milford is there on the backup, so they'll keep the ball with 2.38 to go. Kelshaw. Thought about it. A little, just a little bit out of range. Obviously, he's got a strong enough shot, but that will give Vizzini a lot of time to see it coming his way. Can Vernon force a turnover here? And DeAndre comes back. Good effort by Damon Greenwood. And a timeout's going to be called by West Milford with 2.01 to go in and a half. They want to set up a good final set. And while they talk it over, we're going to take a break as well. We'll be right back here live on the Big State Sports Network. Gross. My so hot, my sneakers melted. Rooms with different temperatures? That means your HVAC system is outdated and wasting energy. At ICS, we'll install an energy efficient system that provides a constant flow of clean, fresh air at the perfect temperature in every room. You could save money each month, and the price we quote is the price you'll pay. Get a quote today. See why we say ICS for HVAC. I see why. Open Road Mazda of Morristown is your go-to for reliable and affordable vehicles. We offer a wide range of options to match your style and needs. First-time buyers, discover the joy of buying with confidence with our five-day money-back guarantee. Your journey begins here at Open Road Mazda of Morristown. I enjoy helping nonprofits achieve their goals and really accomplish their mission, namely by nurturing my relationship with them, their staff, their donors, their volunteers, and their board members. I think the key to being trusted is really transparency. What I've seen time and time again is that when you give anything the right conditions, the support, the autonomy, trust, your full attention, it will thrive. This is as true for my clients and for my colleagues as it is for myself here at WIS. And we're back here live at Vernon Township High School, Anthony Massarino Stadium on the Big State Sports Network. I'm Dan Cleary. 2.01 to go here in the first half. West Milford called a timeout. And they've had a lot of long possessions and a ton of possessions, too. So Coach Adam Coleman from Vernon gets some fresh 
short sticks out there and some long sticks. Uh, I see uh, Gavin Wilczewski has checked in. Trying to get a running start there was Nash Appel, the midi and captain, one of the captains on this squad. Kelshaw, the man of the game so far. Two goals and dominant at the faceoff X. Wazowski will come challenge him. Kelshaw still has it. Doubled up. Slide comes over. Ball pops out loose. Who's going to get to the ground ball? No one yet. And again, it's Kelshaw. Great look across the skip pass. Shot saved by Vizzini. Wow, Wachowski gets to the ground ball, but that was a rocket taken there by Nash Appel, but even a better pass. So Vernon has a chance to see if they can tie this game up. See if Coach Coleman calls a timeout, and he will do exactly that with 103 to go. And we'll take a timeout as well. We'll be right back. An industry leader in synthetic turf, serving the greater New York, New Jersey, and Eastern PA regions, we have delivered hundreds of both synthetic turf and natural grass sports fields for youth and recreational levels all the way up to the highest standards and requirements of the NCAA. Our goal with every project is to provide our customers with exceptional workmanship, extraordinary service, and professional integrity while constructing a superior product that you can enjoy for years to come. Visit athleticfieldsofamerica.com. If you live in Andover, Blairstown, Byram, Frankfurt, Franklin, Frieden, Freelinghuisen, Green, Hampton, Hardwick, Hope, Knowlton, Lafayette, Newton, Sparta, Stillwater, Sussex, and Wantage. Planet Networks is building high-speed fiber in your neighborhood. Visit GetPlanetFiber.com today to learn more. At Planet Networks. And we're back here at Vernon High School out of the timeout. Coach Adam Coleman calling it with 103 to go here in the quarter. They trail 4-3, so he wants to get a good possession here. We'll see what he dialed up. As we said, he learned at the knee of the great Harry Shortway. Vernon started lacrosse in the early 2000s. Chuck Tepper was the first coach. Harry Shortway was an assistant then. Then Harry went coach at Jefferson. Mike Bochek took over the program. And when Bochek stepped down, Shortway came back. West Milford going to cause the turnover here. Another ground ball. Big one here. No whistle. And West Milford's going to dig it out. And they're going to get it. And they're going to go in transition. And a nice check from behind by Matt and Lewis. But we'll stay here with West Milford. But that was great work by Matt Watt, number 16. So West Milford will have possession with 25 seconds to go. See if they can make this a two-goal game. This is Kelshaw, so dangerous. Goes with the left. Stay here with West Milford. That was a rocket. And that was great work by Matt Watt of West Milford. 13 seconds. Kelshaw's got some room. See what he does here. Kelshaw, four seconds. Left shot. Goal. Top shelf. Kelshaw with the rocket. He's got three goals. So he won't get an assist, but Mr. Watt made that happen. Matt Watt with the great ground ball win to keep that possession. And Kelshaw continuing his big game with the Hattie with two seconds to go here in the period. So Kelshaw, three goals, eight on the season. Two seconds to go, and he'll go out to face off X against Curley. And the horn will sound. Kelshaw got a rocket. That would have counted if it would have went in. All right, two quarters in the books as we hit halftime. And this rivalry game between West Milford and Vernon, it's the West Milford Highlanders with a 5-3 lead over the Vernon Vikings. We're going to go to halftime here live on the Big State Sports Network. When we come back, we'll have third quarter action. To be fast. Up to 300 times faster than cable and up to 500 times faster than DSL. As fast as 10,000 megabits per second up and down, if you speak nerd. We're talking cheetah, bullet train, lightning strike, hummingbird, race car kind of fast. Planet Networks. So fast, 
it's worth the wait. Blue Nail was superior in almost every aspect. We worked with contractors for almost everything in the firehouse, and Blue Nail really made us feel comfortable all the way through, from the contract to pre-planning to scheduling, getting the job done. We are thrilled that they were able to do the job for us. Hi, I'm Dan from George A. Keller & Sons. My family-owned company has provided superior service to local homeowners since 1980. And based on the strength of our commitment to you and your positive reviews and feedback, we are now a GAF three-star President's Club winner. That's right, one of 30 winners out of 2,600 Master Elite dealers nationwide. Our seasoned pros provide the best service and quality products from beginning to end of your project. Give us a call today for your free estimate. We specialize in roofing and siding. That includes gutters, windows, doors, stone siding, decks, and painting. We also utilize new age technology like drones and 3D modeling. The drones keep our guys safe on the ground with an aerial perspective, and the 3D modeling gives us exact measurements for a precise job scope. Give us a call today. We'll be happy to provide you with a complimentary drone inspection. We look forward to keeping your home and your family safe. This game is brought to you by Aaron Mizzarelli of State Farm in Randolph. My licensed and experienced team members are here to serve you for all of your insurance and financial service needs in New Jersey and New York. We offer excellent customer service and our office is conveniently located in Randolph, New Jersey. For a free auto, home, life, or business quote, visit us at AaronMizzarelli.com or call us at 973-389-9999. Go ahead, take a deep breath. Oh, nice, huh? That's some clean, fresh air at the perfect temperature. That is good, who installed the system? ICS, they're the leaders in HVAC. They make the duct work at their own factory, so we even save some money. That's impressive. You recommend them? It's ICS for HVAC. I see why. Ah. Hey Lorraine, go get a big plastic bag. Take some air home with you. WIS gives me the freedom to be entrepreneurial, innovative. I feel supported to bring 100% of myself and my personality to work each and every day. I'm the CEO of WIS Family Office. I have two amazing children. I'm the daughter of French and Italian immigrants. Above all, I'm someone who derives strength and confidence from my ability to connect with others, and I strive to make a difference in their lives. For all of the perks that come with working here, I would say that the most valuable thing WIS offers is freedom. The freedom to make the most of your role, to really go beyond the job description, the freedom to think differently and be rewarded for it, and the freedom to show up as 100% who you are. For years, it had been the same routine. 
working all night. Ah, <laughs> those beautiful faces. I wanted more, for me, for them, for our futures. There was this day that something changed, a simple moment of dress up. It opened my eyes. Take charge of your future and go big at CCM. My room is so cold, my fish froze. Mine's so hot, my sneakers melted. Rooms with different temperatures? That means your HVAC system is outdated and wasting energy. At ICS, we'll install an energy efficient system that provides a constant flow of clean, fresh air at the perfect temperature in every room. You could save money each month, and the price we quote is the price you'll pay. Get a quote today. See why we say ICS for HVAC. I see why. Open Road Mazda of Morristown is your go-to for reliable and affordable vehicles. We offer a wide range of options to match your style and needs. First time buyers, discover the joy of buying with confidence with our five day money back guarantee. Your journey begins here at Open Road Mazda of Morristown. I enjoy helping nonprofits achieve their goals and really accomplish their mission, namely by nurturing my relationship with them, their staff, their donors, their volunteers, and their board members. I think the key to being trusted is really transparency. What I've seen time and time again is that when you give anything the right conditions, the support, the autonomy, trust, your full attention, it will thrive. This is as true for my clients and for my colleagues as it is for myself here at WIS. Athletic Fields of America in Montville, New Jersey has become an industry leader in synthetic turf. Serving the greater New York, New Jersey, and Eastern PA regions, we have delivered hundreds of both synthetic turf and natural grass sports fields for youth and recreational levels all the way up to the highest standards and requirements of the NCAA. Our goal with every project is to provide our customers with exceptional workmanship, extraordinary service, and professional integrity while constructing a superior product that you can enjoy for years to come. Visit athleticfieldsofamerica.com. If you live in Andover, Blairstown, Byram, Frankfurt, Franklin, Frieden, Freelingheisen, Green, Hampton, Hardwick, Hope, Knowlton, Lafayette, Newton, Sparta, Stillwater, Sussex, and Wantage, Planet Networks is building high-speed fiber in your neighborhood. Visit GetPlanetFiber.com today to learn more. At Planet Networks, our high-speed fiber is designed to be fast. Up to 300 times faster than cable, and up to 500 times faster than DSL. As fast as 10,000 megabits per second up and down, if you speak nerd. We're talking cheetah, bullet train, lightning strike, hummingbird, race car kind of fast. Planet Networks. So fast, it's worth the wait. And we're back here live at Anthony Massarino Stadium here on the campus of Vernon Township High School, live on the Big State Sports Network. I'm Dan Cleary, West Milford with a 5-3 lead over Vernon. Thanks for joining us on a Friday night. The sun below the tree line, so the sun kind of setting. The light will be taking effect. And we want to thank Bill Foley for having us here, the Outstanding Athletic Director. And we want to thank ICS for sponsoring our second half temperature. It's 54 degrees and windy here at Vernon, ICS. They keep you warm when you're cold and keep you cold when you're warm. You can go to ICSHVAC.com for more information. And this second half face-off is brought to you by our friends at Open Road Mazda of Morristown. As they have a great selection of vehicles under $15,000, check them out. You can check them out online, come in person. They'd love to have you, and they're tremendous sponsors here on the Big State Sports Network. We also want to thank the Vernon Boys lacrosse team and the West Milford boys lacrosse team for being the major sponsors of tonight's game. And we want to give a shout out to the gang at the Glenwood. They have the game on there. And also want to thank a new Vernon sponsor, Mountain Creek. 
the bike season will be starting soon, water park, and a lot of these kids will work there, and they want to give back and help out by sponsoring these Vernon games. So we're going to get ready in just a moment. They'll reset the clock to 12, and we are ready for third quarter action here at Vernon High School. And one of the big stories of the game has been number four in black, Jake Kelshaw, and a big win for Curley, the sophomore, because Kelshaw dominated the faceoff X, and he also had three goals. A big reason why <clears throat> West Milford has the two-goal lead. But a big start and a big win for the Vikings to start this third quarter as they want to get back and cut into this two-goal deficit. And the way they can do that is to win at faceoff X. So a good win for Brandon Curley. Matt Lewis swings it around. So Kelshaw's got three goals. DeAndrea, two. Three different goal scorers for Vernon Ketchell. Tzakis has a goal. Dean Grundy has a goal. And Ty Holden has a goal for the Vikings. Madden Lewis has been busy today. The speedster. He'll drip back to X. Swings it up top to his brother Ethan Lewis. Trying to keep his footing. Shot, and that went in. That's a goal for the Vikings. That's Ketchel Trzakis, his second of the game. Vernon trails 5-4. We'll take a look at that. Just patience there by Trzakis. And he gets free over the shoulder with the goal. Ketchel coming off a good swim season for the Vikings. Good athlete. Coach Adam Coleman told me he can do whatever we ask him. Defensive short stick midi, attack, whatever we need him, he'll do it. He's a mentally tough kid and a good leader. So Ketchel with his fifth goal of the season, second goal of the game, and Vernon trails 5-4. See who gets the possession and will be against, the whistle will be against the Vikings, so West Milford will get it back to start. And on the restart, Nash Appel. West Milford will get its personnel, offensive personnel, on the field. There's Vinny D'Andrea. Vincent does a great job. He's got two goals today. Got a rocket. This is Kelshaw. Waiting. Coach Coleman telling him to keep an eye on him. He starts. Bounces it through. Stay here with the Highlanders. Max Gorney. He takes a shot, and he scores! Max Gorney with the goal. And a great answer by Wes Milford. We'll take a look at that. He just gets his hands free and lets it ride. And Gorney with the goal. 6-4 Highlanders with 10 3 to go. So a quick answer there by Wes Milford. Kel Shaw and Curley. Got Gavin Pitch with the long pole nearest to us of Vernon going against Cole Riley. Kel Shaw again. And another win. Unsettled here. And they'll flick it back. Good work there by the Highlanders scooping up the ball after the faceoff. Nash Appel doing what senior captains are supposed to do. But it'll be a turnover. And Vernon will start with the possession. Here comes a ride from West Milford. They'll swing it over to the Zini. Such a good athlete. You've got to keep an eye on him. Luca gets it back up. But it'll be an unforced error there. And West Milford gets it back. Nice clearing pass. West Milford will go to work. That's Watt again getting clear. And big reason why they got that last goal. Trying to work their way through. Shot saved by Vizzini. Weaving his way through there. Because Max Gorney had just scored before. Rolls towards midfield. Who's going to get it? Battle for it. That'll come back. Beagle. 
Trying to get to it, Kane Lynch. And it will be Vernon's possession. Holden trying to get free. He doesn't need much room with that rocket. Turnaround shot, goal! Ty Holden, precision and speed. Six five. Holden's. Watch this, folks. Just waits and then a little turnaround and over the shoulder rocket. We're at eight fifty to go in the quarter. Six five the score. Holden's second goal of the game and eighth of the season. So three goals early on in this one within the first four minutes of the quarter. Kelsho clean. Dumps it off. Could be a chance. Shot. Goes wide. Good opportunity there by the Highlanders. Lombardo went down a little funny, but he gets up. And Vernon will be there with no one on the backup, obviously, for West Milford off the faceoff. Here comes a ride. Nate Demas gets it across. Vernon needs to get it in, touch it up. Vikings will keep it. Dean Grundy comes in. Number six, he has a goal today. Left alone, Lewis dumps it off. Shot goes wide, and it will be West Milford getting there. Good job by the keeper. Tyler Ankerfrio getting there and getting a possession back for West Milford. This is Beagle. Long clear, and it's successful. Great, great job. Good check there, and it should be Vernon Ball, and it will be Luca Vizzini, the goalie, with the check to knock him out of bounds. Ball pops out of the stick. That'll roll out. Trying to feed the crease comes through. West Milford, as we saw in the first half, very patient. And they've had a tremendous advantage in the time of possession. Good slide coming over there by the Vikings. A little stick dodge shot goes wide. Nash Appel, but we'll stay here with the Highlanders. 7.13 to go. Coming back to play this, Ryan Chizuga. And now Kelshaw will get on. Good work there, working where everyone is. One of the underrated things on the cross, working that box. They want to get a silly offsides penalty. Kelshaw gets knocked down, ball pops loose. Well, he had the one penalty thus far. And it was taking advantage of the man-up goal by Kelshaw, which made it 4-3, broke the 3-3 tie. Squeaking his way through, shot a goal, Gorey. Great job by him. He's got his second goal, and he has five on the season. Just watch him slither through right here, second goal of this third quarter. He gets the running start. Dodges to the side, skips the defense, slips the defender, and he scores. And it's 7-5, West Milford. Corny with two goals today, five on the season. We'll head back to face off X. 6.20 to go in the period here at Anthony Massarino Stadium. 
D'Andrea, some good footwork on the sideline. Does he get rid of it? And a good job by the Vikings forcing the turnover. Nate Demas brings it up. Still, excuse me, Grundy still has it. Shot save. Grundy on the ride. I'll work it back to the keeper. Kane Lynch pressuring long clear. It's going to be broken up. Nicely done by the Vikings. Here they come. Owen Lally slings it over on the doorstep. Shot goal. Kane Lynch. Lally, great job. Feeding and Kane Lynch with the finish. We'll take a look at that. Great job by Owen Lally, the former LSM. Now look at that field vision. He finds Kane Lynch, goes near side, goal. Kane's got three goals on the season. First get goal of the game. So each team coming out on fire here in the third quarter. Vernon with three goals, West Milford with two goals, and we have a 7-6 ball game. And a win there for the Vikings. And our roll to the keeper. Owen Lally doing a good job there, but West Milford will get it back. They'll clear it. And unsettled here. Big hit from Weslowski, and we're going to have a flag. A little bit too big of a hit. And we'll see what the call is here. So West Milford will have its second man up opportunity in the EMO. All right, that'll be one minute hit to the head. Is releasable. So at 508. To go here in the third quarter, West Milford will be a man up. And they scored on their first and only extra man situation. See if they can cash in again. Taking a shot. So you got Gorney, Lombardo, DeAndrea, Kelshaw, Appel. And Logan Ankenfrio out there for the Highlanders. Lally, Wilczewski. Uh, excuse me, Lally, Tristan Elder out there. Campoli. Oh, Kelsho had a chance. But smart, not there. You don't have to take it. Gavin Pitch out there for the Vikings on special teams. And Ethan Maldonado. Shot saved by Vizzini. D'Angelo will scoop up the ground ball. Again, the Vernon not playing with, without Logan Pitch. Hopefully they'll get him back. Kelsho thought about it. Brings it back out. He'll be harassed by Maldonado. Vernon also went out for the season. Jake Del Rosario had, a, I believe, a goal in the game last year when these two teams played. Jake coming off a good football season. Got hurt. Shot saved by Vizzini. We'll stay here. Vernon able to burn off that penalty. A good job by the Vikings. We're even strength. And West Milford, they did this at the end of the second quarter, just being patient, taking their time, making Vernon slide. Kelshaw waiting for the screen. Battling through, shot. And a nice save by Vizzini. Who's going to get the ground ball? That'll be Campoli, and he'll work it back to Luca Vizzini. Looking for Gavin Pitch on the run. Pitch has it. Swings it to the side. As everyone will get their personnel on the field. 
We approached three minutes to go here in the third quarter. Ethan Lewis works it back out to his brother Madden. Steven Della Giacoma, number 41 out there, playing some good D for the Highlanders. Brett Provenzano playing some good D there, too, for West Milford up top. Holden gets free, shot, goes wide. He's so dangerous with that hard shot. He's got two goals today and eight on the season. Vernon with the possession. Ethan Lewis gives it up. Shot. Ketchel to Zach has thought he got hit in the head. He might have, but they're letting him play. And now in a bad way. Cross is a physical game. Grundy catching fire. Saved by Anchor Field. Terrific job by him. We're under two minutes to go. Vernon keeps it. Holden wins the ground ball. So an action-packed third quarter here at Vernon High School. It's 5-3 at the break. 7-6 right now with 140 to go in the third quarter. Running start. Weaving his way through. Shot goes wide. Send it right back out in front of the crease. It's loose. Ground ball win by the Highlanders. And getting it across. Good work here by Brett Provenzano. Clears it himself. Grundy on him. And this will send it back. This will allow West Milford to get their people on if they choose to. And we're going to have a turnover. So Vernon will get it back with one minute to go. Mazzini with the long clear in the middle. He's got Madden Lewis. Pell trying to get him from behind, but Lewis keeps it in his stick, so Vernon will get the possession. And we'll keep the possession. Well, we're at the score we had as a final last year's 7-6. What a full quarter to go. We knew it would be a battle, and it's turned out to be. Lynch will drift back. Hands free. He's more of a catalyst. He'll shoot when he has to. He takes the lefty shot save. So 20 seconds ago, Vernon good to set up their ride. West Milford. Beagle gets in the middle of the field. Good catch. Pops out. Nine seconds to go. And we're going to have a flag right before the end of the quarter. Let's see what the call is here. Looks like it is against the Vikings. Cross check. That'll be on Tristan Elder. He'll head to the bench. So West Milford probably will just hold on to it, run out the clock, and start the fourth quarter with possession. Off camera, you can't see Logan Pitch uh, trying to warm up with there. He's not suited. Uh, let's see. Maybe they will take a shot before the quarter ends. No, they won't. They'll wait, and they'll start the fourth quarter with the ball and the lead, 7-6. Here on the Big State Sports Network, we'll take a break and we'll be back for fourth quarter action right after this. Period, almost every aspect. We work with contractors for almost everything in the firehouse and Blue Nail really made us feel comfortable all the way through from the contract to pre-planning to scheduling, getting the job done. We are thrilled that they were able to do the job for us. I'm Dan from George J. Keller & Sons. My family-owned company has provided superior service to local homeowners since 1980. And based on the strength of our commitment to you 
and your positive reviews and feedback. We are now a GAF three-star President's Club winner. That's right, one of 30 winners out of 2,600 Master Elite dealers nationwide. Our Season Pros provide the best service and quality products from beginning to end of your project. Give us a call today for your free estimate. We specialize in roofing and siding. That includes gutters, windows, doors, stone siding, decks, and painting. We also utilize new age technology like drones and 3D modeling. The drones keep our guys safe on the ground with an aerial perspective, and the 3D modeling gives us exact measurements for a precise job scope. Give us a call today. We'll be happy to provide you with a complimentary drone inspection. We look forward to keeping your home and your family safe. And we're back here live at Anthony Massarino Stadium here at campus at Vernon Township High School, live on the Big State Sports Network. West Milford will have a 7-6 lead as we head into fourth quarter action, an action-packed third quarter. Vernon with three goals. Kitchell Trzakis, his second goal of the game, fifth of the season. Ty Holden got his second goal, eighth of the season. Kane Lynch got his first goal of the game, third of the season. And Max Gorney with a couple of tallies for West Milford as he now has five goals on the year. So who's going to win this fourth quarter? Again, as tight as it's been, West Milford has dominated on the faceoffs. So that's a good thing for Vernon being able to stay in this with West Milford dominating the time of possession and the faceoff X. And Kelshaw is going to get another win for the West Milford Highlanders. So that's something Vernon's going to have to try to avoid. It just puts so much pressure on the defense to force turnovers when you don't win many faceoffs. But they're hanging in there. And again, these guys know each other. It's a great rivalry, although they don't play in the same division. We talked about all the connections. Gary Stoll and Steve Mislanik played here, played for my buddy Chuck Tepper on some great football teams here at Vernon. And these kids all know each other. Either they play for Bobby Sedlock or True. Bobby was a great player here, played at Marywood. Now assistant coach at Kane with the women's program. And will that stay in? It will not. And it will be West Mill for possession. Well, we get Bobby to do a game with us. He works for True Lacrosse and coaching at Kane. Watt, he had one of the biggest plays of the game, helping to set up a goal. And West Milford will go to work again with the one goal lead. Ton of time left, but the way West Milford's been today, they've been so patient. Coach Stoll and Coach Meslanik's game plan working right now. Kelshaw and Gorney. Gorney with the shot. Right now it looks like Kelshaw, Gorney, and DeAndre have the green light. Everyone else, let's work it around. Good defense by the Vikings. Chris Milford working it around. D'Andro trying to creep by the crease, but they'll pick him up. Kelshaw up top. See if he tries to get a running start. Wozlowski on him. A long distance rocket will stay here on the backup. Again, we know he's got the power and the speed. Just when you shoot from that far, that allows the keeper, Lucas Vizzini, to get a good view on it. But he does have the speed. If he catches the right angle, he can put it in the back. Here's Gordy. He's feeling it. Takes the shot saved by Vizzini. So it remains a one-goal game. But West Milford takes almost two minutes off the clock on the possession. Here come the Vikings unsettled. That's Gavin Pitch. Talk about the Vernon West Milford connections. Gavin and Logan's family, parents originally from West Milford. So a lot of connections. Kitchell to Zach has had an outstanding game for the Vikings. A couple of goals here tonight. As the lights have taken full effect here at Massarino Stadium. Hopefully the rain will hold off. Rain most of the day here in Vernon. It was windy. It's been a windy all game, but it looks like it's dying down a little bit, but I don't want to tell that to Jesse Londino, who's out there braving the elements with the camera. 
No wind in the press box, I'm happy to report. <laughs> Ball pops out. It's going to be a turnover. Here come the Highlanders. Good job clearing it out by Brett Provenzano. He's done that a couple of times. And a shot taken. Goal! West Milford, a big goal. Set up off the turnover. And with the goal, it's Ryan Chizuga, number 13. Again, a great job on the turnover, getting it going. Provenzano scooping up the ground ball. No one picks him up, and he rips it. And he will celebrate with DeAndre. Ryan Chizuga with the goal. 8-6 with 8.34 to go. Vernon desperately needs a face-off win. Kelshaw has just been the man. Three goals and dominated face-off X. But a big win there for the Vikings. Good work by Curley. Get back to him. And we'll stay here with the Vikings. As they're allowed to get their personnel on. Plenty of time for Vernon. But they just need to keep the ball away from West Milford on those face-offs. And that face-off brought to you by Open Road Mazda Morristown. Big-time sponsor here on Big State Sports Network. We want to thank Vernon. Boys lacrosse coach Adam Coleman and Gary Stoll, the West Milford coach, for sponsoring today's game. And we also want to thank our friends at the Glenwood who are watching. Hope you're enjoying it there. And Mountain Creek. Kitchell to Zach. His shot saved by Anchor Field. Comes all the way back out. We've seen that a lot tonight. Saves being made in the long rebound coming out. There's a lot of perimeter shooting. Similar to basketball. When you shoot a lot of threes, you're going to have long rebounds. This is Kane Lynch trying to make something happen. Watt on him. Lynch has it. Trying to direct traffic. Dumps it off. This is a guy that can score quickly here for the Vikings. Ty Holden. He winds up. He shoots off the bounce. We'll stay here. Lynch will be there on the backup with 7.15 to go here in the fourth quarter. Vernon trailing by two. With the ball. Vernon in the very tough Riz division. Their next game, Morris Knowles, who just beat Hunter and Central. Terrific team. If my schedule's correct, West Milford will go tomorrow morning in a division game against Demarest. So this is a big game for both clubs. Saved by Anchor Fio. Another rebound comes flying out. Big ground ball win. No whistle or flag. And it'll be won by West Milford. John Beagle, the veteran back there. This is DeAndrea. See if they can catch Vernon on off guard, but they will. That's just smart lacrosse. Two goal lead. Settle it down. If you want to find out who our player of the game is, brought to you by Open Road Mazda, you got to check out the big state sports social media. We want to thank Open Road Mazda for donating the great shirts. Kelly Barta, our social media person, does an amazing job getting those interviews up there. Miss Milford has it. Hands free. Shot saved by Vizzini. Ron Shizuga taking that save. But not a bad shot when you have the backup. Not an ill-advised shot when you have people behind there. And Gorney at the big third quarter. He'll drift back out. So taking their time are the Highlanders. Try to and Kelsho, a long distance saved by Vizzini. Wozlowski will push it back to him. So Vernon will get a much needed possession with 525 to go. On the run, Matt Lewis gets it to Grundy back up top. Shot. That caught the post. Ty Holder with another missile and a ground ball win. And West Milford has won the battle on the ground balls and on faceoffs. And that's why they have an 8 6 lead. Let's see if they try to get something going here. Net is open. And great defense by the Vikings. 
a much needed turnover. They tried to get things going. Who's going to get that ground ball? Will be the Vikings. I believe that was Weslowski. Good job by the big man, Will Weslowski. So Vernon will get it back. Dylan Bubenik has checked in number nine. Kitchell to Zach is winds up. Shot save. Big save by Anchor Fio. Trying to get it to Gourney. Vernon's going to put on the ride. And we're going to get a timeout called by Gary Stoll. A great timeout with 4.24 to go. As things were getting a little hairy, they want to keep that possession and try to run some clock. So we'll take a quick break, folks. We'll be back here live on the Big State Sports Network. This game is brought to you by Aaron Mizzarelli of State Farm in Randolph. My licensed and experienced team members are here to serve you for all of your insurance and financial service needs in New Jersey and New York. We offer excellent customer service and our office is conveniently located in Randolph, New Jersey. For a free auto, home, life, or business quote, visit us at AaronMizzarelli.com or call us at 973-389-9999. Go ahead. Take a deep breath. Oh, nice, huh? That's some clean, fresh air at the perfect temperature. That is good. Who installed the system? ICS. They're the leaders in HVAC. They make the duct work at their own factory, so we even save some money. That's impressive. You recommend them? It's ICS for HVAC. I see why. Ah. Hey, Lorraine, go get a big plastic bag. All right, we're back out of the timeout. Hey, we want to thank ICS. Game time temperature was 54. We saw them on the commercial. So West Milford called the timeout. The ride by the Vikings trying to get their turnover. And West Milford will get it over. Lombardo dangerous by the sideline. Joe Campoli trying to force a turnover on the ride. Vernon desperate now with four minutes to go. Trailing by two, and they do get the turnover. And on the run come the Vikings. Owen Lally, let's see if he takes this. And we got a flag. And that will be against West Milford. So Vernon on the delayed penalty will be a man up with 340 and running. We'll see how they approach this. This is Madden Lewis. Feeding the crease. Shot. Oh, great save by Anchor Field. Loose in the crease. He covers up, and that'll stop things. That should stop the clock at 328. And Vernon will be in a man up. Get the official call. And we got a slash, and that will be on Cole Riley. So Vernon will be up. So special teams out there for them. Terzakis, Madden Lewis, Ty Holden, Ethan Lewis, Kane Lynch, and Dean Grundy. So Vernon trailing by two. Pat Foley out there for West Milford along with Beagle. And there's a possible turnover. There's Watt again. Good catch by Anchor Field. The ride by the Vikings putting that pressure on. And that will pay off. That, let's, no, they keep it in. Who's going to get to the ground ball? Kane Lynch unsettled here. Under three to go. Still in a man up. They got to get turned on the wheel here. Work it around. Get the slides. Hold it left alone. Broke it up. That was Watt again. Pat Foley gets rid of it. And we will be even strength. Intercepted on the long clear attempt, so the ride is working. And that was the keeper, Luca Vizzini, coming all the way up. Looking like when he plays DB for Steve Down. Saved by Ancrofio. Again, Vernon putting that ride on. The pressure has been paying off. 
And West Milford, did we get a timeout call by Vernon? Is that what we saw? Either way, there is a, we'll find out. Timeout with 2.04 to go. We'll take another break, folks. We'll be right back. WISC gives me the freedom to be entrepreneurial, innovative. I feel supported to bring 100% of myself and my personality to work each and every day. I'm the CEO of WISC Family Office. I have two amazing children. I'm the daughter of French and Italian immigrants. Above all, I'm someone who derives strength and confidence from my ability to connect with others, and I strive to make a difference in their lives. Back here out of the timeout, rain starting to fall. So the final 204, we're going to have some wet weather here at Vernon. Thanks for joining us on the Big State Sports Network. I'm Dan Clear. I want to thank Vernon coach Adam Coleman, West Milford coach Gary Stoll for sponsoring today's game, along with Open Road Mazda. So West Milford has the ball, trying to get it across. They do. And Brett Provenzano's done a good job with that today. He gets tripled, though. Who's going to get that ground ball? And it'll roll out. It will be Vernon possession with 150 to go. Vernon trying to get it across. They do. Vernon had a man up earlier. Good job by West Milford to hold that off. They have the one goal lead, 130 to go. Two goal lead, excuse me. Holden trying to get free, rolls to the keeper. West Milford's got to hustle to get it out because Vernon Ride will be there. And from behind, Dean Grundy with a great trail check. Here come the Vikings. They have their opportunities to cut this deficit. Shot, goal! Owen Lally! With 107 to go, it's 8-7. Give the assist there to Dean Grundy with the trail check. And Owen Lally takes it to the house. There you see it. Eight seven with 107 to go. A huge face off here. Kelshaw and Curley. Big, big, big face-off as the rain starts to come down again here at Massarino Stadium. Who's going to get it? Kelshaw battling for it. Still no possession. Kicked around. And Vernon's going to possibly get that's Gavin pitch, and it will go to the Vikings. See if we get a timeout from Coach Coleman. And there's the timeout from Adam Coleman with 48 seconds to go. They did what they needed to do, Vernon. Forced the turnover, and they'll get a possession with under a minute to go. As we take a look at the Vernon huddle. As we said, Vernon in that very tough Riz division. Sparta right now undefeated. They have yet to play Morris Knowles. Jack Martinez has a good year for Morris Knowles. Sparta has beaten Vernon. Greg Peters, terrific player for them. Got Roxbury, Justin Meath coaching at his alma mater. They're solid. Jefferson graduated to Great Collins Sabia, but they still have Chubb Reed, the scoring and assist machine, and his brother Jameson in goal for Scott Reed. Mount Olive, always good. Kittatinny, they're going to play hard. Coach Lade's a great coach. And Monville with Rick DeBonta, they always battle hard. That's a tough division. And in the Curcio division, you got Westwood, Paramus, West Milford, Demarest, Wayne Hills, Lakeland, and Old Japan. So it doesn't get any easier for either of these clubs as they get deep into division play. So they would love to get a win here as the rain and wind is picking up. And I'm glad this held off for the final two. But not long enough for our cameraman, Jesse Londino, out there, folks. He's braving the elements. So Vernon's got one possession, or possible more than that, but they have 48 seconds to try to tie this up. 
Can they get the goal or can West Milford come up with a stop? Crowd getting fired up here at Vernon. Considering the wind and the weather, we have a great showing here tonight. And here we go. Clock starts. Vikings bring it across. This is Grundy. Can Vernon get the tying goal here in their final possible final position? Rip goes wide. Taken by Matt and Lewis. We'll stay here with Ketchel Drzakis. 33 seconds to go. Clock will start. Coming around from the back. Dump it up. Hold it with the rip and a goal! Vernon ties it with 27 seconds to go. Ty Holden, we're tied at eight. Take a look at that. That was a great job by Holden. We talked about leaving him alone. So dangerous. Ty with the hat trick. And he gets that game time goal, but a ton of time left, 27 seconds. Kelshaw walking out there. He knows he needs to get a win here. Curley's gotten better as the game's gone on for Vernon. Who's going to get it? Kelshaw. Eighteen seconds. DeAndre Kelshaw or Gorney would be the guys you got to keep an eye out. Coming around the corner, shot saved by Vizzini. Seven seconds, looks like we're gonna head to overtime unless we have a crazy finish. No flag. And a long shot taken. And we are going to overtime here at Anthony Massarino Stadium at Vernon Township High School. We are tied at eight. Ty Holden sending this game into extra time. We'll take a break. We'll be back with sudden victory overtime here live on the Big State Sports Network. Working here, I would say that the most valuable thing WIS offers is freedom. The freedom to make the most of your role, to really go beyond the job description, the freedom to think differently and be rewarded for it, and the freedom to show up as 100% who you are. For years, it had been the same routine working all night. Ah, <laughs> those beautiful faces. I wanted more for me, for them, for our futures. There was this day that something changed, a simple moment of dress up. It opened my eyes. Take charge of your future and go big at CCM. Room is so cold, my fish froze. Mine's so hot, my sneakers melted. Rooms with different temperatures? That means your HVAC system is outdated and wasting energy. At ICS, we'll install an energy efficient system that provides a constant flow of clean, fresh air at the perfect temperature in every room. You could save money each month, and the price we quote is the price you'll pay. Get a quote today. See why we say ICS for HVAC. I see why. And we're back here at a rainy and windy Massarino Stadium. Mother Nature making an appearance with about two minutes to go here. Vernon with a big goal from Ty Holden ties it up. We go to overtime, put four minutes on the clock, and the violation will be against West Milford. So Vernon will get to possession. It is sudden victory. So whoever scores first, but that'll be a turnover. And West Milford will get it back. And we'll see if Coach Stoll uses a timeout. Vern's going to put that ride on. Well, he need to get one if they don't clear. Working their way up, Provenzano. Excuse me, that's Nash Chappelle. Ball comes loose, Vernon gets it back. Slippery conditions out there, unsettled. Gavin Pitch dumps it off into the middle. Looking for Holden. Ty gets it, winds up, shot. Saved by Anchor Field. We have a whistle and a, no, a timeout before that shot taken by Coach Adam Coleman. A good timeout by Coach Coleman. Things were getting a little unsettled. You want to get the ball with 329. You want to get a, your bright personnel out there. So good job by Coach Coleman, but a good comeback by the Vikings. 
They were down 8-6 after Ryan Chizuga scored with 8.34 to go. But Owen Lally made it 8-7. And there were 27 seconds to go. Ty Holden with the game-tying goal. Again, I want to thank both teams for sponsoring, as well as Open Road Mazda. And all the sponsors you see. Hey, folks, the two booster clubs here sponsored. If you want to find out how we can help you raise money for your booster club, you got to check it out on Big State Sports. We can help you raise money for your booster club by broadcasting your game on our platform. All right, as we go to overtime, 3.29 to go. A couple of turnovers on each side, but Vernon has it. As they look to try to get the win and improve the two and two and win their second straight against the Highlanders. After winning 7-6 last year, West Milford trying to move to three and two. And we knew this would be a good one. I hope you're enjoying it here on the Big State Sports Network. A rivalry game is always fun. It's a shame, in my opinion, that they didn't allow Big North, didn't allow West Milford out of there and let them join the NJAC in all sports. They'd be a perfect fit, them in Lakeland. But that's my two cents, and I'll get off my soapbox. All right, back to the cross. Vernon with the ball. Next goal wins it. Ty Holden with three today. Can he get a game winner? He winds up. He shoots. Great save by Anchor Frio. So will it be Kelshaw? Can he be a hero? Or Gorney? Or DeAndrea? But Vernon's ride has been terrific. And a timeout call by Coach Steve, uh, Gary Stoll was the good ride there by Kane Lynch, forcing them to use a timeout. They did not want to lose possession with 3.01 to go. And we'll take a quick timeout, folks. We'll be right back. ...is your go-to for reliable and affordable vehicles. We offer a wide range of options to match your style and needs. First-time buyers, discover the joy of buying with confidence with our five-day money-back guarantee. Your journey begins here at Open Road Mazda of Morristown. I enjoy helping nonprofits achieve their goals and really accomplish their mission, namely by nurturing my relationship with them, their staff, their donors, their volunteers, and their board members. I think the key to being trusted is really transparency. What I've seen time and time again is that when you give anything the right conditions, the support, the autonomy, trust, your full attention, it will thrive. This is as true for my clients and for my colleagues as it is for myself here at WIS. All right, we're back here at Vernon High School. Overtime tied at eight. West Milford and Vernon. West Milford called the timeout. They will go to work. This is Kelshaw. He has three goals today. Kelshaw. Thinking about it. Slide comes over. Dumps it off. Him, Gorney, and DeAndrea. Guys to keep an eye out for. Lally is looking at DeAndrea. Running start, Gorney. Good defense by the Vikings sliding over. Kelshaw winds up, shot, doesn't get through. Good defense by the Vikings, battle for the ground ball. Campoli will come out with it. Gavin Pitch flings it up. Vikings trying to clear it. They do. On the run, dumping it off Wolchowski, he gets it to Kane Lynch. Oh, a great strip from behind by Watt, but Lynch gets it right back. Chance here for Kane Lynch. Over the shoulder, doesn't get through. It's still loose. Who's gonna get to the ground ball? 145 to go in overtime. Fern will get it. What a sequence. Another possible turn over here, and Anchor Fear, the goalie, will get to it. Here come the Highlanders. They skip it over to Watt. Windy and wet out there. Long pass could be dangerous. Fazzini tries to stop it, and he does, and Vernon will get the ground ball. And we're gonna have a big hit there and a flag. So Vernon will be a man up. A little extra talking here. Kelshaw's heading off.
Well, we've got two flags. We'll see if they offset here. Definitely one against West Milford. The other one could have been against Vernon for talking afterwards. We'll get this all squared away. Officials will talk it over. All right, we're going to get the officials call here. West Milford will get the cross check. All right, so both teams have been assessed penalties for one minute, so they'll be even numbers wise, but they'll each have a player off. So five on five. And will be West Milford possession. Looks like, yes, indeed. So we got two in the box. One from Vernon, one from, from West Milford. Kelshaw from West Milford, pitch for Vernon. So West Milford will get the possession with, 10, with 101 to go. And now we're under a minute to go. You're in overtime. This is Gorney. DeAndre has been quiet in the second half. See if he can light it up. Such a talented kid. Trying to get that running start. With the running dodge on Lally. Dumps it back to X. Making Vernon slide. They swing it over. That's Cole Riley. 29 seconds to go. West Milford waiting. Riley. Trying to make the move, spin, back up top. This is Gorney. Gorney with the running start, dumps it off. Could be a turnover, who's gonna get there? Collision. And Vernon will win the ground ball. And the horn will sound, we are going to double overtime here at Vernon Township High School. Tied at eight on a Friday night. We're going to get extra lacrosse for another four minutes. And we'll take a break and we'll have that second overtime right after this. Live on the Big State Sports Network. ...an industry leader in synthetic turf. Serving the greater New York, New Jersey, and eastern PA regions, we have delivered hundreds of both synthetic turf and natural grass sports fields for youth and recreational levels all the way up to the highest standards and requirements of the NCAA. Our goal with every project is to provide our customers with exceptional workmanship, extraordinary service, and professional integrity while constructing a superior product that you can enjoy for years to come. Visit athleticfieldsofamerica.com. If you live in Andover, Blairstown, Byram, Frankfurt, Franklin, Frieden, Freelingheisen, Green, Hampton, Hardwick, Hope, Knowlton, Lafayette, Newton, Sparta, Stillwater, Sussex, and Wantage. Planet Networks is building high-speed fiber in your neighborhood. Visit GetPlanetFiber.com today to learn more. All right, we're back here at Vernon High School. Start of double overtime. Vernon West Milford, what a barn burner. Tied at eight. No one obviously able to score in this sudden death. First overtime, so we'll go to a second overtime. Teams will be at even strength. Brandon Curley against Jake Kelshaw. It's been a physical game, but not dirty. It's what you expect when you have a heated rivalry, but a good rivalry. And Kelshaw will swing it back. Beagle will get it, and West Milford will go on the attack. Now Chappelle, back to him, being pressured by Gavin Pitch. Looks like the rain has let up a little bit. It's a big ground ball, who's gonna get to it? Will be West Milford, a little unsettled. Gorney keeps it, still has it, he gets hit. And West Milford will be a man up. So 
Duke. And West Milford ended here in a man up situation. Technical 30 second push with possession. So 3.22 to go. West Milford will have the possession. There'll be a man up. Who will get the game winner? These two teams have left it all on the field. It sounds cliche, but it's true. Gorney back to DeAndrea. Little two man. They swing it over. Gorney winds up, shoots. Saved by Luca Vizzini. A great save by the junior keeper. On a rocket from Gorney. Here comes the West Milford ride. Vernon will get it over. Owen Lally, ball pops out. Who's going to get to it? Both teams' ride has been effective here in the late, in both overtimes and in the fourth quarter. And a timeout call by West Milford. They'll use their timeout. You get a timeout for each overtime. And they'll use theirs. We'll take a break, folks. We'll be right back. Fiber is designed to be fast. Up to 300 times faster than cable and up to 500 times faster than DSL. As fast as 10,000 megabits per second up and down if you speak nerd. We're talking cheetah, bullet train, lightning strike, hummingbird, race car kind of fast. Planet Networks, so fast it's worth the wait. The epic continues here at Vernon High School. Double overtime, 2.48 to go. West Milford calls their timeout. As Vernon's ride and West Milford's ride have been effective, forcing turnovers. Anchor Frio's made a save, and Luca Vizzini made a big save just before. But the win's still an issue here. Here come the Highlanders. Vernon using that athletic ability. They definitely have caused trouble. And West Milford Highlanders will get it over and they'll touch it up. Cole Riley swings it in. Back over to Kelshaw. Coach Gary Stoll calling out what he wants. Kelshaw trying to draw the one on one. He's got the short stick on him. He'll send it back. DeAndre able to keep it in for the moment. And Owen Lally forces the turnover. And we're going to have a flag on West Milford. Lally takes a shot. And Vernon will be a man up. Wow. With exactly two minutes to go in double OT. So Vernon will get the possession. And they'll be up a man. We'll get the call here. Cross check against the Highlanders. One minute. So two minutes to go in double overtime. Vernon will be a man up for a minute of it. Can they take advantage of it? Could special teams decide this one here on a rainy, windy night in Vernon in double OT? Ethan Lewis. Grundy's on the crease. Madden Lewis back. See if Lewis can drive and dish. They circle it around. Could be a turnover. Lynch trying to get there. And it is a turnover. So West Milford gets it back. Weather conditions, I think, playing a factor now. And here comes the Vernon ride. Ten-man ride. B. 
Beagle, skip pass across. Grundy comes flying over, number six. Showing that speed. West Milford will get her over. A little unsettled, Lombardo takes a shot save by Vizzini. Big ground ball win, who's gonna get it? And it's gonna be won by Max Gorney. Gorney unsettled for West Milford. DeAndrea back to Lombardo. And they'll settle things down. We're even strength with under 45 to go here in double OT. A slugfest between West Milford and Vernon. On a rainy, windy night here in Vernon. Running start. Good defense. Dump it inside. And it's broken up by Wozlowski. Big Will. Lombardo on him. Here come the Vikings. In the middle, they get it to Grundy, but it bounces out. He still keeps possession. Grundy dumps it off. Chance here. Shot! Goal! Vernon wins! Vernon wins in double OT with the goal. I think that was Ty Holder with nine seconds ago. We'll have to take a look at it, but I'm pretty sure it was him. With nine seconds to go, let's see, is it number 14? Yes, it is. Ty Holden with his fourth goal of the game. And Vernon will post a wild 9-8 double overtime victory. Holden tied it, sent it into overtime, and he gets the game winner. Wow. It's a great game here, Vernon. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I did calling it. West Milford fall to 2-3. and three. Vernon go to 1-3. and three, And you will have to go to big state social media to find out who our player of the game is. Brought to you by Open Road Mazda. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be easy to guess who that player will be. Well, great job today by Jesse Londino on the camera working in the elements. Kyle Hackey doing a great job working the board. I'm Dan Cleary. We'll see you again soon live on the Big State Sports Network. Bitsky 26, got that big body, terrific wrestlers, got good feet. Shot and a goal, and Vernon will score first. Off balance, and Terzakis, he has the goal. Drifts down the alley. See if he slides towards X, puts on the move, works towards the cage, save. Good save made there by the goalie. And we get a timeout called? Nope. Though Vernon was trying to call a timeout. Ball still loose, but the Vikings have it. Holden dumps it off. Unsettled. Low shot save. Kane Lynch with a little tricky shot. Vernon tries. Terzak is with Rubisky all over and the big man. Trying to feed the crease. Shot and a goal for the Vikings. Mikey Alvarez in goal. The deepest Vernon's ever gone in the States. They would have won that game. They would have got to the finals. Nice stick dodge. Shot and a goal. Beautifully done. And West Milford gets its first goal of the game. It's Jacob Top. Matt and Lewis will get to it. 135 to go here in the first quarter. Shot by Holden. And that is a goal for the Vikings. Ty Holden, again, we just said, you don't want to leave him alone. Gets his hands free. 23 seconds to go in the quarter. Obviously, West Milford going to hold for one here. Unless they have a wide open shot, and they get it. And that is a rocket off the bounce for DeAndrea. And it's 3-2 with 15 seconds to go. Second quarter, West Milford. Opportunity here. Bouncing the ball around. Shot and a goal right out of the gate. And it's DeAndrea, the sniper, with the shot. We're tied at three. And it comes off a little bit of an unsettled situation. Four assists in the goal. Having a hand in five of the seven goals the Vikings scored. He feeds it up top. Ethan Lewis with the rip. It comes all the way back. Wow. And he takes a shot. Coming up a little bit hobbled. But he is a tough kid. I doubt he'll come off the field. Four-year starter in soccer here at Vernon. Three as a goalie. 
Nice move there by hold and save, and the ball comes out loose. Well, he, he just worked the clock. All right, so it's a man up for the Highlanders. See if they can take advantage and take the lead shot, and they do right away. It's Kelshaw. A man up goal, and West Milford goes up 4 3. Star football players for Chuck Tepper, our buddy. DeAndrea. Back up top. Kelshaw, hands free. Shot saved by Vizzini. That comes all the way back out. Ball pops out loose. Who's going to get to the ground ball? No one yet. And again, it's Kelshaw. Great look across the skip pass. Shot saved by Vizzini. Wow, Wachowski gets it. See what he does here. Kelshaw, four seconds. Left shot. Goal. Top shelf. Kelshaw with a rocket. He's got three goals. So he won't. Trying to keep his footing. Shot, and that went in. That's a goal for the Vikings. That's Ketchel Trzak is his second of the game. Vernon bounces it through. Stay here with the Highlanders. Max Gorney. He takes a shot, and he scores. Max Gorney with the goal. And a great answer by... That's Watt again getting clear. And big reason why they got that last goal. Trying to work their way through. Shot saved by Vizzini. Weaving his way through there. Holden trying to get free. He doesn't need much room with that rocket. Turnaround shot. Goal. Ty Holden. Precision and speed. By Kelshaw, which made it 4-3. Broke the 3-3 tie. Squeaking his way through. Shot a goal. Gorney. Great job by him. He's got his second goal, and he has five on the season. It's going to be broken up. Nicely done by the Vikings. Here they come. Owen Lally slings it over on the doorstep. Shot. Goal. Kane Lynch. Lally, great job. Feeding and Kane Lynch with the finish. We'll take a look at a chance. But smart, not there. You don't have to take it. Gavin Pitch out there for the Vikings on special teams. And Ethan Maldonado. Shot saved by Vizzini. DeAndre will scoop up the ground ball. For also went out for the season. Jake Del Rosario had, a, I believe, a goal in the game last year when these two teams played. Jake coming off a good football season. Got hurt. Shot saved by Vizzini. We'll stay here. Vernon slide. Kelshaw. Waking for the screen. Battling through. Shot. And a nice save by Vizzini. Who's going to get the ground ball? That'll be Campoli. Cross is a physical game. Grundy catching fire, saved by Anchor Field. Terrific job by him. We're under. Here come the Highlanders. Good job clearing it out by Brett Provenzano. He's done that a couple of times. And a shot taken. Goal, West Wilford. A big goal set up off the turnover. And with the coach for sponsoring today's game. And we also want to thank our friends at the Glenwood who are watching. Hope you're enjoying it there. And Mountain Creek. Kitchell to Zach is shot saved by Anchor Field. Comes all the way back out. Wozlowski will push it back to him. So Vernon will get a much needed possession with 5.25 to go. On the run, Matt Lewis gets it to Grundy back up top. Shot back out the post. Ty Holder with another missile. Dylan Bubenik is checked in number nine. Kitchell to Zakis winds up. Shot save. Big save by Anchor Fio. Trying to get it to Kemp. So the ride is working. And that was the keeper, Luca Vizzini, coming all the way up. Looking like when he plays DB for Steve Down. Saved by Anchor Fio. He with a great trail check. Here come the Vikings. They have their opportunities to cut this deficit. 
shot, goal! Owen Lally with 107 to go, it's 8-7. Give the... Coming around from the back, dump it up. Hold it with the rip and a goal! Fernand ties it with 27 seconds to go. Ty Holden, we're tied at eight. Chance here for Kalich, over the shoulder, does it get through? It's still loose. Who's gonna get to the ground ball? 145 to go in overtime. Fern will get it. What a sequence. These two teams have left it all on the field. It sounds cliche, but it's true. Gorney back to DeAndrea. Little two-man. They swing it over. Gorney winds up, shoots. Saved by Luca Vizzini. A great save by the junior. Here come the Vikings. In the middle, they get it to Grundy, but it bounces out. He still keeps possession. Grundy dumps it off. Chance here. Shot! Goal! Vernon wins! Vernon wins in double OT with the goal!